Hello and welcome to Breathing Design. This is another requested tutorial on how to create sheet and sheet templates in Revit. Let's get started. Uh, so this is a project that I've been working on and I'll be creating a sheet for these uh, floor plans and a couple of elevations. So to create a sheet, go to a project browser. Under project browser, you have a tab called sheets. If you right click on it, uh, and go click on new sheet. So once you open the new sheet, you have a default template that will be available for you, a default title block. You can go ahead and open that or if you want to load something else, go click on load. And here while installing Revit, uh, certain Revit families will be downloaded as well. So you can load those title blocks as well. Okay. So if not, you can just go ahead and open the default one and click on OK. So this is what it basically looks like. And uh, this is an A3 sheet template. And here you basically have the logo. Here you have the websites. And here you have a couple of uh, notes on the consultant and address and phone numbers. Here you have the description and date. And here you have the other things. For example, the name, the title, um, the name of the project, the owner, the number, date, all of those things. So this is what a template looks like and this is preloaded. You can always go ahead and uh, change it or edit it. So how do you edit the existing template is go to edit family. And now here you have an image. It is a PNG image of uh, the Autodesk logo. So first delete this if you don't want it. And if you want to add your logo, your company logo, just go to insert and click on import image. And then you place it like this and then just adjust the size like this and place it. something like this okay so here you have the logo and here you can go ahead and um, you know edit the website if you have one or if you don't have it you can always leave that empty or just delete it all right and similarly uh, you can just extend this one like this and start adding the name of consultants, whatever it is, and address and, you know, phone numbers. Or if you don't want any of these, you can just delete it like this. Okay. And then here, uh, obviously, we'll be filling this up later. So uh, this will be empty for now. And then these things, you can fill it up in the um, sheet. So you don't have to do that here. Here, all we have to do is just adjust, uh, just change the logo and your company website. So once you've done that, uh, just go to load into project and click on override existing version and its parameter values. Okay. And here the logo has changed. The website name has changed. And here you can come over here and uh, rename the project name the owner name and everything over here. You can edit it directly on the sheet like this. Okay. All right. So this is how you edit the basic elements, the basic layout of your sheet. And uh, let me quickly show you how to add um, the flow plans in this. Now, uh, you have the sheet open like this. All you have to do is here we have the floor plans. All you have to do is drag and drop it like this and the floor plan will come. Now here as you can see the floor plan, the extent of the floor plan is still these views right here. Uh, all these uh, north, east, west, south views. So you don't want that. So let's just crop it. 
so here under properties go to crop view crop region and annotation crop check all of those things and click on apply and i don't want the views and these wall to be seen so i'm just going to set the extents accordingly to whatever i want it okay so once i've done that okay once you set your boundary like this make sure you uncheck crop region visible that just uh, you know removes the line the boundary line that was there otherwise the crop still exists now go back to your sheet okay and just drag and drop the level one floor plan like this okay and then drop it like this as you can see the floor plan has been uh, imported over here and the scale is super low so that's why it is um, coming so small if you want to increase the scale um, under properties uh, you can go over here and change the scale to whatever fits your sheet something like this okay and now you have placed the floor plan and if you want to uh, reduce the length of this just click on your uh, imported floor plan like this these dots will appear and then you can edit this make sure you're selecting the dot and not anything else and move it like this okay and if you want to move this up and down like this all you have to do is move it around like that only the extent of it you have to click on the floor plan and then move around the dots you can't just directly click on this the dots won't appear here you can only move it up and down like this and then yeah so once you're done this is what it looks like and um, here if you want to like add schedules and stuff you can do that as well let me show you how to do that uh, say for example you want to add a door schedule for this floor plan so how do you do that is again under project browser you go to schedule slash quantities right click on it and click on new schedule slash quantities and under this uh, go and pick doors here and click on ok now here you have uh, various fields uh, to pick from and you can pick anything you want like I'll just do like I don't know family okay and then um, maybe finish and then head height and then height width thickness that's it Similarly, you can uh, add other things as well. Like if there is a fire rating to the door, you can add that. If you've added the cost, the construction type, and all of those things, if you have all of those things, you can always add it. But for now, I'll just be adding these things and just click on OK. So here's the door schedule. Here's the family. OK, so this is the family. Uh, since there is no finish, we have not assigned the material. I have not assigned any material. So that's why uh, it is not showing here. So it's best if I just delete it instead of keeping it empty like that. And then here we have the head height and uh, the normal height of this. So since both of them are one and the same, I'm just going to delete one of those. And here I have just the height, width and thickness like this. So once your uh, door schedule is ready like this, um, come back to your sheet that you have created and here now that you've created a schedule a plus mark appears like this so drag it down and here you have a door schedule and now all you have to do is drag it and drop it like this and place it wherever you want it to be okay and if you want to increase the width of this column just click on that arrow and do it like this So here's your door schedule. Now I've taught you how to create a schedule and how to place it here in the sheet. And 
if other than that if you want to like add a couple of notes for your uh, sheet uh, you can go to annotate and here click on text and just draw a box like this okay and here you can start adding the text like this okay it can be anything just you know put it as note and then you can type whatever you want to all right and you can adjust the size of this as well like this you can adjust the extents of it you can move it that's how you add the schedule and notes and the floor plans now similarly if you want to add elevations and along with that I'll just also show you how to uh, import another um, sheet maybe an A4 sheet or something like that which is in uh, portrait mode so let me just open that and show it to you okay now go to sheet uh, similarly like how you did it go to sheet and click on new sheet and here go to load and I have downloaded a couple of uh, sheets so I'll just go ahead and open that so here are the title blocks that I usually use and here as you can see um, the writing content is uh, here at the, uh, at the bottom here also it's an A3 sheet it's at the bottom and here it's, it is at the side and similarly these two as well so for now i was using this one now i'll just go ahead and show you what this one looks like and if you click on open it comes out here just select that and click on okay and your sheet will open like this okay and here if you want to edit it go to click on edit and then just Okay, and here uh, as usual, just delete the company logo and add yours. And then you can edit the website information here okay and similarly the rest of the things the sheet name the scale date everything you can edit it directly on the sheet or here as well now click on load into project override existing version and the changes you've made will be right here and here uh, if you want to add elevations now I just want to add a front view of it so this is what the front view looks like and I want to add this let me just reduce the extent of the grid line sorry the levels okay and let me just add the crop view go back to your sheet and just drag and drop the elevation like this now the scale is a bit too much so let me just reduce the scale here under properties and just reduce the extent of this as well If you want to edit the elements here just um, just double click on this and you'll be able to edit the elements inside okay. 
once you've made all of the adjustments required make sure you place it correctly like this All right, so this is what it looks like. You can add another elevation over here and your sheet is ready. Uh, so I will be uh, linking these uh, templates that I just showed you, the four or five templates that I have. You can uh, download them for free on our website. Uh, I will also be linking that in the description below. So please go ahead and download all of these and edit, edit them like I did. Uh, add your logo and your website and your information and keep a template ready. You can just quickly uh, uh, load that into Rivet like this, add a couple of floor plans and you know whatever details you need and then you can send it to your uh, client. Now how do you take a printout of this is how do you create a PDF of this is just uh, open this view like this, open the sheet like this and click on control P. Okay and then go to setup and make sure you have selected your size properly and then all of your other settings are correct like this and then click on ok and uh, if this is a sheet go to selected views or sheet and then go to select and here the name of the sheet is A102 unnamed so go select that and click on ok and then click on ok so this is the final PDF that I have taken and here I've added two elevations like this. You can add as many as you want and here are all of your details that will be coming once you edit it and this is what it looks like. I hope you've understood the video and uh, if you have any doubts or concerns please uh, comment in the comment section and if you want to uh, learn something else in Revit please let me know. I will definitely include that in my next video. Thank you so much.